how the weather is going to shape up for that particular festival. How are we looking? Well, it's kind of hit or miss here because we've got some good hours this weekend for sure. But Saturday I am expecting some heavy rain to oh, fall. So okay. hopefully <laughs> we'll have some, some rain plans for sure. Here's a look at our weather headlines for the weekend. We've got some scattered showers possible tomorrow, but only a very slight chance. It will be in the evening, so you might be dodging those if you're heading out to the festival. But really what I'm concerned about is that Saturday rain. As we go into the next few days after that, a couple more rain chances here and there and then warmer temperatures. So if you've been enjoying the cool temperatures, enjoy them while they last, which will not be much longer. Our overnight low in the triad, 62 degrees. We could wake up to some patchy fog, so plan a few extra minutes on the roads, especially if you're going out before the sunrise at 631 AM. Winds will be calm. That contributes to that fog risk dry with some clouds out there. Foothills temperatures in the upper 50s. Pretty refreshing as you're headed out the door. Winds calm with that patchy fog threat and then overnight in the mountains. We've got a gentle breeze, a cool morning in the mid 50s. We are well below normal for sure with these temperatures. As we head into the day tomorrow, though, we get closer to normal. We should be in the upper 80s during the afternoon, so that's about where we'll get. Increasing clouds throughout the day and then by the evening, a 20% chance for some showers, some weak thunderstorms as well. I don't have a severe weather outlook for tomorrow or for Saturday as well. We're expecting some standard typical thunderstorms in the foothills as well. Later in the day, temperatures in the mid 80s and in the mountains, we get to the upper 70s. Clouds increase throughout the day, but that rain chance overall pretty slight for us. Here's a look at our hour by hour forecast. We watch those clouds off and on as we head through the day on Friday and then late into the evening, those pop up showers with maybe a couple thunderstorms behind them as well. You see that yellow there, that tiny little peak, that's some moderate rainfall fall that's sprinkling in amongst otherwise just some light rain for us. So we could see some issues in some spots with some pooling on roadways, but really what I'm concerned about is Saturday and you can see why as we go through the morning expecting those heavier downpours to pop up and develop. A lot of this will last into the evening, although the morning looks to be like the most active time. That's good news because once we get that heating in the afternoon, that's when something like this to me would look like severe weather, but because it's happening in the morning, not not necessarily as concerned about that severe weather threat. Not to say you couldn't see some thunderstorms here, some heavy downpours that could cause some flash flooding, frequent lightning as well. Always a threat when we've got thunderstorms in the picture. Damaging wind gusts and large hail low threats at this point, although it will be something that we watch for sure. As we head through the next four days, you notice that Sunday nice and dry and warm for the end of that festival, and then a 20% chance of showers again on Monday, heading towards the foothills, warmer temperatures climbing back back into the upper 80s before you know it, even touching 90 as we look at spots in the triad and in the mountains, temperatures in the 70s for tomorrow and for Saturday. But then by Sunday, back in the 80s with a 20% chance for showers each day. Saturday, definitely the biggest rain day for us, and most of that rain will be in the Piedmont. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. We've got those temperatures getting to 90 degrees by Monday, can staying in the low 90s as we head through the rest of the work week next week as well, with some 30, 20 to 30 percent chances for some isolated afternoon storms. To me, those look more like typical summer thunderstorms rather than anything severe that could bring us some heavy downpours, but that's about the whole story there. All right, thank you.